Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a Valentine's gel polish nail art tutorial, seeing as it is finally Valentine's Day. So I hope you've all had a lovely day to begin with and I hope you all enjoy watching. Now, before we start off the design, I just wanted to show you guys the latest collection that Kiki London launched. So this is the Lady in Red collection and it does consist of three vibrant red shades, a red glitter and a hearts top coat. So we're gonna be using the hearts top coat and one of these reds in today's design, but I just quickly want to show you guys everything that is in the collection. I do have a discount code for Kiki London, so I will leave that in the description box below as well. Now I wanted to include a nude in this design, so I went for nude tan. It's a really beautiful, creamy, kind of like a brownie beige nude. So I felt as though it fitted well for what I had in mind. Now I'm going to be using this as my base shade for two of the nails and then we are also going to be doing an ombre with this colour as well. So I'm going to come in and do the first coat on both of those two nails to begin with, keeping the gel polish nice and thin but as you can see this is quite a highly pigmented one so it looks or it gives a very good coverage in one coat. I do always like to come in and apply two coats though just to get that full opacity. Then the red I decided to use is Love Crush so this is from that new lady in red red collection and it's a really gorgeous bright red shade it's kind of got like a little hint of an orangey coral tone to it it's super super bright and super pretty again it's very very highly pigmented in one coat as you can see it covers absolutely beautifully so I've done the first three nails they're going to be plain bases to start off with so I'm going to pop them in to cure and then I'm going to be doing an ombre with nude tan and love crush on the fourth nail now it has been a little while since I've done a red and nude ombre and I've never done an ombre with these two particular shades before so I wasn't 100% sure how well it was going to go but I quite liked how it turned out. So I'm coming in first of all with the nude tan taking that down just halfway down the nail just over halfway down the nail sorry and then coming in with the love crush and I was just checking that I hadn't got any of that nude tan on the bottle brush for love crush before popping it back into the gel polish bottle because you don't want to contaminate your colour. Then to do my ombre I'm going to use the Kiki London ombre brush and I'm just going to start blending right where those two shades meet creating our transitional shade between the nude tan and the love crush so I'm just very gently taking that gel polish and basically mixing it together with the ombre brush then I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to blend the nude tan into that transitional shade that we've created which as you can see is kind of like a dusky pink shade so then we're working on basically blending out that line where the nude tan and the transitional shade meet. Now I'm not stressing about getting a too perfect blend because this is just the first coat so it's not going to look as perfect because just because you you know you're only doing your first coat of gel polish it, the opacity won't be a hundred percent and you're not a hundred percent going to see this blend once you come in and do your second coat anyway so don't stress too much about getting the perfect blend then what we're going to do is blend that transitional shade in with the love crush and this is what it was looking like so far then I did pop this in to cure and like I said we will be doing a second coat but whilst that was curing I'm going to come in and add the second coats to the previous shades that we done. So first of all coming in and doing that second coat of nude tan on those two nails and then we're going to come in and do the second coat of love crush and I do feel as though although the colours are very highly pigmented you get a lot more of an even colour once you come in and apply that second coat especially with shades bright like this particular red one I really love this one I think it's going to be quite popular in the summer as well so then we're going to these are just going to be our bases for some nail art so we've got those all done and we're going to go in and cure those and then we're going to move on to doing our second coat of that ombre so coming right over the top of the first coat I'm going to take that nude tan taking it right down to where we took it down before so roughly just over halfway three quarters of the way down the nail and then coming in with the love crush and we're going to do exactly the same as before but I do spend a little bit more time perfecting the blend on that second coat just because obviously this is the blend you're going to see so I'm starting off exactly the same as before getting that transitional shade so I'm 
merging the nude tan and the love crush together taking my brush i don't work as fast as what it looks in the video obviously the video is sped up you want to be fairly gentle though you can go as quick as you feel is okay but you don't want to go too quickly that you're going to start pulling off too much of the gel polish or adding in any air bubbles so i'm just very carefully creating that transitional shade and then i'm making sure as well that the sides are blended nicely as well as this is something i sometimes can forget and then I'm going to, once we've got that transitional shade, it's a lot easier then. You, the transitional shade especially is going to look a lot more softer and opaque. And then it's a lot easier to blend that transitional shade into the new tan and then into the love crush. And then what I'll tend to do is just look over the entire ombre and blend any areas that just need a little bit more work and I'm always whenever you see the brush go out of shot that's when I'm always wiping it off on an alcohol wipe because you do want to keep your brush as clean as possible so that you don't muddy up the blend so at this point it was still looking like it needed a little bit of work to it this isn't an easy ombre because the red is very very bright compared to the creamy tone of the nude so it was a little bit tricky but I was happy with the overall end result and it does always look a little bit better once you have come in and top coated as well so do bear that in mind too i always leave my ombre to sit for a few seconds before popping it into cure as this minimizes any brush strokes and then we're going to work on some nail art which includes the new hearts top coat and then we're also going to be doing some isolated chrome and some embellishments as well so this is the new hearts top coat as you can see it's a crystal clear gel top coat and then embedded in that top coat are these really cute pink and red hearts so i want to apply a little bit differently because i want to have the red hearts up one end of the nail and the pink hearts up the other end of the nail so to start off with i'm literally just coming in and focusing on getting a layer of that clear gel down and then I'm just picking out some hearts from the bottle and kind of just trying to place the red ones down wherever I want them to be and the pink ones where I want those to be and then I'm just making sure that gel is fully covering the entire nail so it's still going to act as a top coat and then once I've got enough hearts down on the nail I'm going to switch to using my stripe liner brush which is also from Kiki London just to nudge those hearts around into place just because it's a little bit easier using a nail art brush to do this and then the bottle brush because then that way you're not adding any more unnecessary gel product onto the nail or adding in any more hearts that you don't want so just nudging those around don't stress if this does make your top coat look a little bit uneven because you can hold it out upside down for a few seconds and that will help it self level usually if you're just using this to top coat it won't cause as much unevenness as it has done here where i'm playing around with where the hearts are going so I then pop that into cure and then we're going to come in and apply our matte top coat because I want this now to be matte for our isolated chrome design. So I'm just coming in and applying a thin coat of the matte top coat. And then as you can see, that's gonna give us a beautiful matte finish, but because I want this to be super matte and I do find buffing helps with the whole isolated chrome look, I'm gonna come in and buff the surface of the nail using my 180 grit side of my buffer. Then I'm giving the nail a quick dust to make sure that we remove any dust that has appeared from buffing. And then I'm gonna take some no wipe top coat, apply this to my palette. And this is what we're gonna to use to apply our chrome. So with your no wipe top coat on this particular design, I kind of just wanted to, frame the edges of the nail and kind of give a bit of a gold embossed look just to add something extra so i'm coming in with that same striped liner brush and the no wipe top coat and just applying this to where i want that gold chrome to be so as you can see i've chose each end of the nail as i find this is one of my favorite looks to do when i kind of want to frame a design so i'm just applying this and then once i'm happy of how that's applied and where it is i'm going to pop that in secure for 30 seconds and then we're going to be using one of the beautiful kiki london chromes so once the no wipe top coat has cured you want to come in and straight away rub on your chrome i'm just taking a small amount and my silicone tool and just burnishing it in to where we've applied that cured top coat making sure to give it a good rub i like to go in circular motions then up and down and just making sure that i've really got around and covered everywhere that i want the chrome to be and then I'm going to take my dusty brush and dust off a lot of that excess chrome. You can also come in with some alcohol, either on a wipe or on a brush and wipe off any areas where your chrome has gone that you didn't want it to. Now, although we have obviously top coated the hearts underneath, I want to keep those matte. So we're going to just come in and apply our no wipe top coat to where we've applied our chrome. 
So I'm just coming in and just top coating over that chrome and that's gonna give it this really pretty 3D embossed look, especially where we've got that matte base as well. If you wanted to do the whole nail glossy, you could just come in and simply top coat with your no wipe top coat over the entire nail. Once we have popped that top coat in to cure, this is what the finished result looked like. And I really, really loved how this nail turned out. I would wear this all year round. It's definitely not a look that I would only wear for Valentine's. So on to the next nail, I have done the same as what we did before. So we've already matte top coated and buffed over the top of Love Crush. And then I'm coming in with my no white top coat and creating a heart shape. So I've done this using a large dotting tool. As you can see, I've dotted down two dots. Then we're pulling them together to make a triangle at the bottom and then pulling them together to make a triangle at the top. And then just using that top coat that you dotted down to fill in the entire heart if you do need a little bit more top coat of course you can come in and add that and I find this the absolute easiest way to do any kind of heart again once we had popped that into cure we're just going to burnish on a small amount of chrome making sure to really get around the edges where we've done that slightly thicker because I want it to have that embossed look you want to make sure that you're getting real around the edges of that top coat with your chrome and then once again dusting off the excess over this particular one we did need to come in as well with an alcohol wipe to remove some of that excess chrome. So I'm just being very careful here to get as close to the heart as possible to remove any of that excess chrome, but being very careful that I don't actually go over the heart with my alcohol wipe because it will remove it because it's not been top coated yet. So you do need to be very careful when you're doing your cleanup. You can come in and clean up again or once you have top coated your heart if necessary, but I'm just using an angled nail art brush and getting as close to that heart as possible and right around the edges. And then once I have done that, I'm gonna take my striped liner brush again and just come in and top coat the heart. Being really careful that we keep the top coat only on the heart because I don't wanna start adding any glossy top coat to that matte base as it will be really noticeable. And then once again, we're gonna pop that in secure for 30 seconds. And again, that is this nail finish because I wanna keep the matte base. I did just come in and give the whole nail a wipe because that's gonna remove any of that excess chrome without removing the little gold heart. And I really loved how this looked over the Love Crush base. Onto our ombre, I decided I would just keep this as a simple ombre, but I did decide that I wanted to do it matte. So I'm just gonna apply a thin coat of the matte top coat to this one. And I feel as though if you aren't 100% happy with a ombre, once you come in and add a matte top coat, it kind of softens any imperfections that are in it as well. So that's a little tip too. On to the fourth and final design in this look. I'm gonna be applying some crystals and embellishments and I always do this using my Kiki London rubber top coat. So I applied a thin layer of this. It is a thicker consistency product. So I do find that any embellishments and gems do sink down into it. So just applied a thin coat of this, keeping it wet. And then I'm just gonna pick up this really glam looking rose, which I think is from Charlie's Nail Art, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I'm using these red crystals, which are from Kiki London. and I'm not sure where the caviar beads are from. I just found them in the drawer, so I thought I'd add them in as well. But I've added in my rose in the center of the nail, and then I'm just adding a few crystals around the edges to kind of look like further rose petals and give a little bit more of a dimension and a little bit of bling to the design. And then I'm just picking up some of the caviar beads and adding them in here and there just to fill in any of the gaps. And again, I just find it kind of makes your crystal look a lot more fuller. So I'm just nudging those around into place, and this this is the great thing about applying them with a rubber top coat. You can move your crystals or your gems, whatever it is you're applying as much as you like without having to worry about them setting in place until you pop your nail into cure. And the rubber top coat does require a 60 second cure. So once that had cured, this is what our design looked like. It was really fun doing a something a little bit different. I haven't done too much gel polish nail art over on my own channel in a little while. So it was really fun to do them. And I thought they turned out super cute for Valentine's. So however you have spent the day, I hope you've enjoyed yourself and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and let me know how you were all doing. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you did. Thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.